Prior to filling the true line forms with concrete, the soil plug inside the form that occurs during installation would be evacuated using the true line airlift or other equipment. Engineers usually measure to the bottom of the form to ensure that all the soil has been removed. Placing concrete underwater cannot be done by free falling the concrete. This is not an acceptable method because the cement is washed out of the concrete mix, causing the concrete to not achieve the proper strength. Placing concrete underwater via freefall does not meet the engineering specifications and should never be done when building a true line wall. When properly designed and installed, true line will last 75 plus years. Part of this equation is properly filling the true line form when it contains water using the treme pour method. To do this, concrete must be placed into the true line form from the bottom up. This is required by most seawall and water installations by engineers in order to ensure the concrete strength meets the engineering specifications. To properly fill the true line form from the bottom up, the pump is inserted into the form all the way to the soil at the bottom. Concrete flow is started to fill the form. The pool of concrete is allowed to build inside the form, raising its elevation and forcing the water out of the top of the form. Care is required to slowly retract the pump line as the form fills so that the end of the pump line is always embedded in the pool of concrete and never exposed to the water. Once full, the pump is shut off, the pump line is inserted in the next form, and the process is repeated. It is not acceptable to allow the concrete to flow while the pump line is being moved to the next form. This example shows the use of a boom truck for the 18-foot long sheets installed at a marina. This example shows the use of a backhoe to hold the concrete hose to fill 14 long sheets installed at another marina. Next is an actual video of the Tremipore method.